Welcome to the channel. In this video, I will share how to run any PHP project using VAMP server. For this, follow the steps. First step is download project from GitHub. Second step is we need server. So download and install server. So you can use any server, WAMP or ZAMP. As in this video, I will share how to run project using WAMP server. In the coming next video, I will also share how to run project using ZAMP server. So project can be run and executed successfully on both the server easily. Third step is copy project file in appropriate location. Fourth step is create database. Now in XAMPP, sorry, in VAMP there are two methods to create database. First method is using console and second method is using my php admin so in this video i will share both methods so you need to follow these steps to run the project so we'll start with the first step first step is to download project from github Previously, I have already shared how to download project from GitHub. I will give I will give the link in the description box of this video. If you don't know how to download project from GitHub, stop this video, go in the description box of this video and watch the video how to download project from GitHub. So recently I have downloaded one project from GitHub okay so first you need a project okay after that install server so in this video i will use vam server so again i have also shared a video on how to install vam server okay so now i don't have vam server so quickly i will install vam server so i have vam server downloaded i have software now i will install it quickly double click to install click on next then use i accept agreement and click on next then again next then you can create desktop icon or quick launch icon i am creating both click next click on install so here quickly setup is installed of vam server Click on open and the installation is completed. So I'm just sharing quick video. Click on next option and finish. So now it will launch VAM server. Just refresh and now we'll open browser and check if it is installed successfully or not. In the browser type localhost and press enter. Yes, it is installed successfully. As you can see there was some problem. Okay, so when you click on this arrow option here you can see BAM server and when you click on it you will find this menu where there are multiple options and here is my sql console so i can directly go in the browser and check localhost or i can click this localhost to check so this is another way you can check towards the right side of this screen 
there is a taskbar and here is arrow option where this menu opens and in this menu you can see the quick launch icon so this is quick launch icon and on the desktop is the desktop icon so you can open it from the desktop icon or you can open from the quick launch icon so just click on this quick launch icon and you can use localhost to check whether servers server is installed successfully or not or you can use browser to check in browser you have to type localhost so there are two methods to check so first step is done project is downloaded okay i have recently downloaded one project then i will show you that project within minutes then second we have installed the server bam server and third is now to copy the project file now let's do the third step so if you are new to my channel do not forget to like this video share with your friends and subscribe my channel as i have shared i have downloaded project the name of project is food review okay so this is project developed in php right click and click on extract files so i have downloaded the zip file from github and now click on ok so this is the simple step to unzip the file as you can see it is unzipped now copy the folder and paste in the vamp in c drive in vamp folder in www so this is the path where you have to copy the folder c drive vamp www paste the folder so patiently follow all the steps don't be in hurry to complete the steps now i have pasted the folder in appropriate path now let's check the project so i will check the forms first so type localhost in the browser press enter and here in this check your projects open for food review folder so this is the folder i have copied so again click on food review main and here are all my files so this is the main file so there are three pages first is home so this is the home page where is introduction and images So this is the introduction of the project food review spicy spice up your life so here are the images and there are link also so for this link to work we need internet connection so when you click on the link the video will open so this is the video similar way are the other links so next is the give review page so here are the all text boxes its buttons third is the recipe where there is a menu bar so this is the first one second samosa video link is also given again video link is there again for this we need net connection now third step is completed we have copied project file in appropriate location and and they are working properly now fourth step is to create database so there are two methods console method and my php admin method so first i will share my php admin method
so in the local host in tools you will find php my admin click on that first we'll create database now let's create database so database name should be same and table names should be same so database name is food click on create option to create database database is created successfully now let's create table name of the table is review and now we'll check number of fields so in the project folder only there is database file i will show you where is the file so i think total five fields five fields so i'll type five number and click on go option so in this way we can create the table so database is created table is created now let's create the fields so in the c path wam folder where we have copied the project food review in that folder only there is a database file so we'll also type the field name first field is id second is f name so here is the area as you can see here is the food you can see sql file so this file text file contains the database double click and open and we can view database name table name and field name so all these three should be same table also in same fields also first is id second is f name third is email you can type or you can copy paste so if the field name are not correct then there will be a problem so field name should be correct then phone fourth field is phone and type also we have to enter fifth is review we'll copy and paste the review copy and paste so for id we have taken int f name where care is there email where care phone is int and review is text we we'll also give size that is length for all so you have to give length for all 5 is for id 50 for f name email 50 phone is 10 okay so auto increment you have to tick the auto increment option for id next is check properly that you have entered correct names so all the names should be same lower case upper case every of all the letters should be same so this there is an error this is not a number so i have not entered the size here length length you have to enter the length for all field click on save option to save database is created successfully now just click on back option and now we'll run the project to check whether the data is submitted or not from the form so we'll open main and we'll check the review so now we'll enter name then email Then we'll enter phone. So the form data should be properly submitted in the database we have created. Type everything and click on submit. And yes, it is submitted. 
and you can review your view so here is all the review so this is the first method using my php admin second is console method in the console method below this arrow okay there is quick launch icon as you can see click on this icon and here is my sql console then here is the black screen it is like command prompt screen click on my console this console i have not given any password so just click on enter and this is the my sql console so now what we have to do is same way okay in the c drive in vam folder www i have food review main in this folder is food review main so this is food text file that is sql file double click and open as it contains database name so database name should be same otherwise the project will not run review table name should be same and all the columns name should be same now i am sharing with you second method i hope you all are getting this if you don't understand or you have any confusion watch this video again so now we'll open the console and we'll write the query to create database okay firstly we'll view the databases next query to create database is create database already there is food food one so i'll create food two space food two semicolon enter so database is created now now, now let's view the database so food two is also created successfully next step is to create the table open the database text file now we have to just copy and paste this query this step is very simple copy this all content to create table and paste in the mysql console so we have copied the query and press enter we have to select the database so type use database food 2 so it is use food 2 and then we'll copy the query and it is created now let's view the table so we can view the table So, table is also created in food too. We can also view table fields also created. So, this is the second method by using console. I find console method easy than uh, using my PHP admin. So, use any one method. So, these are the steps to follow. This video will definitely help you. If you have any query or doubt, let me know in the comments box below. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.